Do you want to improve your movement? Are you trying to get better? Well, I'm here to help. I'm a two-time Call of Duty World Champion, and I got some tips to give to you. Five, to be exact. Let's get right into it. Your best form of engaging in Modern Warfare 2 is going to be jump shotting and jump shotting around corners. Now, in previous CODs, we used to be able to, like, slide cancel and do all that fancy stuff. But in this game, it's actually horrible. Sliding got nerfed hard. And jumping around corners and jump shotting are going to be your best friends, like, exactly like that. That. the reason why is the tactical sprint is going to give you that momentum boost and when you hit that jump around a corner it's very fast but there's a big thing you must be doing in order to do it correctly not only are you going to be jumping around corners the number one tip for this is you're going to be adsing as you're jumping around a corner so it's going to look like that you're not going to do this jump around a corner then ads halfway or even at the end of the jump like this because that's going to be slow. By the time you actually aim in, you're probably dead. The number one tip is you're going to jump, aim in midair. And that way, as soon as you see your target, you're already on them and you're able to shoot. Just like that. Now, if you've seen some Call of Duty professional players play, well, you know, this is what they do about 90% of the time. They jump around the corners and they ADS and they just do it constantly just like this. And it's very, very effective in a game like MW2. So if you know someone's around a corner... And you're trying to challenge them if you know they're holding kind of the pre-aim for example like this instead of walking out and being a bot and just doing this you're probably dead jump shot around the corner and catch them with that camera and now for the second most important movement in mw2 because it's very very viable is snaking so snaking is essentially crouching or proning behind cover very quickly and doing this and it's very hard for someone to shoot you while you're doing this the bot is going to have a difficult time to hit me if he decides to shoot but basically what you want to do is you want to sprint forward and then go back and then prone crouch prone forward to crouch prone fro and you can even do this like on the floor so you want to sprint forward go prone and push back basically what you're doing just very quickly now there's two reasons why snaking is very good and it's very cheesy to the point where pro players even hate it and want it banned but there's not much you can do about it you can use it aggressively and defensively now the way to use it defensively is like if you're getting weak or you're behind cover this is going to be able to buy time and save your life because they're going to be afraid to push you or challenge you if you're snaking them so that is one way another thing is you're able to gain information without one either dying or even sometimes getting weak so when i'm trying to kind of spot someone i can do this constantly like oh guys to my left okay now i challenge and that's where the aggressive part comes in but me snaking behind cover allows me to gain information without dying which is very very important in a game like this especially when snaking is very strong so you definitely want to use it now how do you use it offensively well basically what you're going to do here is you're going to snake until you see your target and then as soon as you see your target you're going to aim in and shoot now there's two ways you can do this you do not have to commit to the gunfire for example i can shoot him like this and then commit when i feel like i have the advantage or like he's weak just like that you can hit him with a one two you don't have to fully commit to the gunfight but snaking is very op and if you're not using it well you're not going to really climb the rank now let's move on to the next thing which is basically the d hop or dolphin diving on ledges it still can be used it did get nerfed a while back but it's still somewhat viable so basically is you want to time a dolphin dive and hit a ledge now obviously if you don't do it correctly you will fly deep like that but the correct way to do it is you got to time it and it's going to bounce you off and you're basically ready to engage immediately the reason this is important is when you dolphin dive you have this one or two seconds before you can aim in or even shoot your gun or even move but when done correctly you're able to shoot right away and it can also send you flying which can be pretty good in certain scenarios so if i wanted to challenge someone under me and i wanted to fly off this and dehop it i could do this you see how i'm able to immediately fly off look great it looks crazy and then i'm able to shoot and get a kill but this is also going to go and pair with dolphin diving and that's something else i want to talk about sliding in this game honestly it's pretty bad the only time you can really slide is if you're trying to slide down the stairs you want to do this movement that is the only only good time to slide realistically like sliding down a staircase and challenging someone because this is a movement you can utilize that not many people do anymore. You used to in past CODs, but like with the sliding get nerfed, not many people like it anymore. But dolphin diving is going to be your best friend to escape scenarios and escape everything. If you're in, about to fight, let's say you're trapped here in your one shot and a guy's holding this angle, you cannot slide away. He's going to kill you every time. But your best probability 
is to actually dive away like this your, your chances of living increase a lot more so what i'm trying to say diving is going to be your number one escape mechanic but on top of it there is an aggressive way to use it like the d hop also a setting that i changed that makes a big difference you want to go to controller you want to go to advance and then you want to go down to invert slide in dive behavior i have this on the inverted basically what this is going to do is instead of me having to hold to dive it flips it where hold is slide and clicking it once is dive in a game where diving is really good and you kind of want to be your number one mechanic to like avoid and escape you definitely should be putting it like that in a game like mw2 where ttk is very fast sometimes running out in the open and challenging someone is very dumb and it will get you killed a lot of the times now something you might see some of the pro players do is they shoulder stuff and play for information and basically how you do this is you kind of go around a corner and you hit a little shimmy, a little shoulder. That's going to give you a lot of information of the area and spot maybe an enemy. So instead of me kind of, so instead of me, you know, just running out, I do this and then I challenge. It allows you to one, stay alive, gain the information where someone's in and then challenge. For example, I want to challenge this hill, but I don't know where the person in the hill is. If I simply do this and fly out, well, now I got to worry about many spots, right? I got to potentially worry about a guy coming here, a guy sitting here, sitting in this corner sitting on top of the dumpster head he's sitting here so there's many spots to kind of check the challenge well i'm most likely gonna die so instead of me just committing to it instead i'm gonna hit a shoulder oh there you are and then you fly out and challenge once you know your opponent's exact location that's going to increase your odds of winning the gunfight and actually being more consistent because you're not going to be having dumb deaths where you basically just do this, fly out, and then you just die to someone holding the pre-aim. But not only is shouldering good for that reason to, you know, engage in gunfights and win more gunfights, it's also important to gain information. Hey, I see two guys mid. I need someone's help. As soon as you gain that information, you see you can use the team, uh, team shot. You see the teamwork come into play. Instead of me committing to a one gun, 1v1 gunfight, if I'm holding a lane by myself, for example, let's say I'm holding the back here, I simply shoulder, hit some shoulders, and you hear you're never engaging. Like, I'm not just randomly going, oh, I'm a challenger's guy. No, you're simply going for information. You never commit for the to the gunfight because you're going to be usually at a disadvantage when you're shouldering somebody. So I see, yo, team, I need your help. And then my teammate helps me. This is a very important mechanic. And you see some of the best players in the world use because it helps so much when used correctly. You can use it again, aggressively or defensively. And it's going to allow you to get more kills, stay alive in situations you shouldn't stay alive and utilize teamwork as well. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something you see a lot of pros do and use in this game where it kind of reminds you of Black Ops 4 a little bit. But it's kind of the crack aim. What is crack aim? It's when you ADS in and out like this. So whenever you watch the pros play or even play ranked play, you're going to see some of the good players do this. Basically, what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to strafe a lot faster than you would just ADSing normal. This is also important with the TTK being very fast and sprint to fire being slow. You're kind of ADSing in and out. That way, if someone does end up being your crosshair, you're already aimed in or at least halfway aimed in. And you're just all you have to do is commit to the gunfight. So what you want to do is you basically spam ADS. Now you can do full ADSs or you, usually you want to do it where you're almost all the way ADS. And if you really or you think someone's going to be here like this and then you snap, boom. This is going to help a little bit with your movement because you're going to able to kind of crack aim and just kind of get a little, little, little more mobile, a little, little more finessey in situations where you're kind of like just crack aiming, like kind of playing fast, aiming it in and out. And it's going to allow you to have that little bit more movement speed and a little bit strafing speed and catch people off guard. And I know it seems like a small tip for the last one, but trust me, it makes a difference in the gameplay, especially when running in AR. Now to demonstrate the sub version, the sub, you can kind of do it as well. Like, but usually people like to just pre ADS, but like, let's say I think a guy's around a corner, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Instead of like, I'll kind of, I can kind of do this and that way I'm just ready, right? Also allows me to move a little bit faster than I would if I was just ADSing. So if I think someone's around this corner, for example, instead of me just doing do this, I could just do something like this. You're kind of like aiming in and out. It's not as good as with a sub, but doesn't mean you can't do it with a sub, right? You can just so do it sometimes. Well, guys, with rank play out, I'm sure a lot of you guys are trying to improve. This is more of an updated movement video to help you guys improve your skill, get better movement, utilize movement, because movement at the end of the day is very good and very important to help you play better, you know, to engage in gunfights, to disengage in gunfights, to gain information. All these things all the pro players use and I've been using for years and every game is a little bit different. So I try to give you guys the best tips on what you kind of want to do in this game to help you become a better player. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing some more of these. And as always, I stream at twitch.tv slash apathy every single day. Come watch me live.